I'm Adam with Fraser, and this is how to read your own and fault codes. So to start during normal operation, you'll see this green light, um, steady green, which means generator is running, operational, it's producing power, everything is as it should be. It's important to note that in the instance of a failure, automatically the Fraser unit will start pulling 12 volt power from the chassis alternator battery system to provide 12 volt power to your life-saving critical circuits to the, to the body. So you're gonna still have suction, emergency lights, sirens, ceiling lights, compartment lights. You're gonna have everything you, that you need to finish out that call. Uh, but we wanna show you what happens in the instance that unexpectedly the generator was to, to quit working for whatever reason. So this scenario right here you see, generator running, steady green light, everything is good. Now we're gonna go actually force the generator to fault out and we're gonna come back here and show you what that looks like. So a fault code is gonna read out three common fault codes or three common you know, indicators that are a fault are this light flashing here. It's flashing right now three times, um, but there's a couple different different ways it could flash. You know, it could flash twice just repetitively. That's an indicator of low oil. It could flash three times repetitively, which is doing right now. That's an indication of a, a service fault. It could flash four times repetitively, and that's an indication of a, an overstart. So the generator is just trying to start. The, the starter is running constantly, and it shuts itself down and throws a fault of that four flashes just to save the life of the starter. So like I indicated, this one's flashing three times. Uh, it tells us there's a service fault. Anytime it faults out, I recommend that you try and restart the generator two to three times. Sometimes it'll fault out. It's just kind of a, a, a random incident. You try and restart it, it'll restart fine. It'll run fine. That's the end of it. Um, we're gonna pretend like we've tried to restart it a couple times and it's not restarting. It's flashing three times repetitively. So now you go into the fault code readout and you, you want to now learn what fault code is this thing throwing. So simple, all you do is you push this in the down position one time and it's going to go into fault code readout. One, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. So I let it go through that a couple times and say it out loud. And this is, is throwing fault code 14. So I want to write it down. It's always gonna be a two digit code like that. I wanna write it down to remember that. So now that you have this information, there's a couple different things you can do with it. You can either reference the Onan manual, which we give you, it's that thumb drive. It's on the thumb drive that we give you at time of delivery. So there's a, an Onan operator's manual and there's a whole section in there about using fault codes to troubleshoot. So you can reference fault code 14 and it'll give you a couple steps to diagnose what's going on with it. Um, you can, call us uh, and, and get a hold of one of our service advisors. Uh, the number is toll free 888-372-9371. You just ask for a service advisor when you call in or even better, you can email us at service at uh, fraserbuilt.com and just simply state in the email what the fault code is and that you need a, a call back. We'll call you back and we'll talk through troubleshooting that with you. I hope this helps. Thanks for your time.